This exchange came about after many years of research into dry litter technologies because it's one of the sustainable agricultural activities that we're trialling through the Ridge Reef project. Uh, and a name kept tipping up, a man, Glenn Fukumoto, from the University of Hawaii. And so I got in touch with him and we were sort of discussing the ins and outs of uh, tri litter piggeries. And he recommended uh, looking into the American Samoan Piggery Compliance Program. And he had had a part to play in the development of that program. Um, and recommended it as an example of a great integrated approach to uh, managing piggeries. Um, so I got in touch with American Samoan EPA and through various exchanges between our director, Dr. Jones, and the director of American Samoan EPA, uh, we built the program uh, and that's how it happened. And within our project we have four or five countries that are directly employing the dry litter technology as part of their project activities. And so the project managers of those countries and then another suitable participant was invited to attend. We tapped into that um, technology, the dry litter technology, um, because of the mere fact that it protects um, not only our underground aquifers, our drinking water um, from getting contaminated, um, but it also reduces um, the nutrient loads into the streams entering the waters, um, streams and the beaches. Um, we've discovered that a lot of that continue to enter our water um, sources um, because of the fact that, you know, in the past without government um, regulations and, um, you know, assistance from the government, people were just um, building their pig pens right next to the streams, on top of the streams, because there was limited knowledge on, 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 on the damage those uh, pig pens could do for, for the environment. If there's anything that they, you know, uh, they can take back with them uh, from a learning experience here in the exchange that we've had uh, throughout the week, uh, I can't emphasize the importance of, uh, of outreach, uh, public awareness, um, and also, you know, educating the, uh, the community, and also providing compliance assistance. Uh, that's key and critical because we're all from a very small island community. Although we do have a regulatory arm, but uh, we're also out there to help, um, you know, find ways where we can work with the uh, community uh, to bring their, their, their farms into compliance. Um, and then the other piece to this is, um, I also want to emphasize the importance of uh, partnership. Um, you know, working with, uh, with other uh, uh, government uh, you know, entities and also in the private sector, uh, you know, we, where we can all come together and work together. I want to use you know, what we've done here in American Samoa as an example where we've worked with multiple uh, local government agencies and departments along with uh, our local federal partners that, uh, uh, that have sided with us in, in ensuring that uh, we have you know, a, a, you know, a piggery uh, uh, program you know, that's sustainable and, and it also protects public health in the environment. I see that, um, I would say specifically, um, the regulation and um, the enforcement part, because I feel like that's the one thing that is really poor, um, um, that is in, um, I guess, poor status back home. Um, as for the designs and all that um, farmers' willingness to cooperate and all of that, I see it's okay. Um, farmers are willing to do this, they are excited to trial this. Um, we, I guess, modified the design so that it's affordable um, in the FSM. Uh, as we go into um, tri-liter pickery, as the uh, technique uh, that is uh, best uh, for our environment in us uh, with respect to 
uh, peak waste management. Um, one thing that um, we need to look into more is uh, the other options uh, besides uh, the woods uh, for the trees. Uh, if people, more and more people, uh, decide to get into this um, system of dry litter pickery, uh, we need to uh, see what are the other choices to use uh, so that we don't, um, you know, over harvest our, our trees on the island. So that will be one thing that um, we have to prepare ourselves. We got to exchange what best practices the other countries have or practice. And also, as I mentioned earlier about a licensing system, at the moment there's not been implemented. So I hope with this program, we can reach out to the public inform them to apply for a license for the bakery and then we have the we can relate to the MOU the land use permits have and then we can like trick make that into our context. So to adopt this dry litter um, we really want to get the lesson learned from uh, those who already practice it. So to come and then exchange knowledge, it's the best way. So I'm um, talking to them, asking questions, uh, trying just to get down to the bottom of, uh, of the design. Because uh, the more you learn about it, the, the best way you can, you can design it from lesson learned from, uh, from those who've been I mean, experiencing it. I feel that in the Pacific, we have very limited land um, resources. Um, our environment is very um, precious to the Pacific. And we feel that um, if we can share that knowledge that we already have, how we have our programs and the success that we have, maybe um, you know, it, it can spark some light to help um, remedy the problem that you also have in your jurisdiction, in, in their jurisdiction. So I think this network uh, coming together as Pacific Islands, um, you know, we can help each other. Um, we can support each other, we can promote uh, protection of the environment at large.